If you're trying to compile several different kinds of documents into a single PDF, one of the easiest ways to do this is to join all the documents together in Microsoft Word. It allows you to drag in PDFs, it allows you to drag in images or any other kind of document. And that by using the headers to designate each new page, you can create an index, a table of contents that is clickable when you export it as a PDF. Let me show you how that works. Here I've created a sample document that's going to consist of supporting documents for the annual review at the university where I teach. Now I've already set it up with the title and with a header and so on. That's fine. The part that matters is down here. What I have here is the first section. This is a header. If we come right here to home, you'll see I've set this up as heading one. So you just type and click heading one. And that's going to be an important piece of information for how Word exports the PDF. Then I have some explanatory text. That's one of the nice things about doing it this way is you can add your own information. Then below that, I have a graph. I created it in Google Sheets and saved it as a PNG image file, and I just dragged it in to the document. You can see there's its boundaries, and you can resize this image as you want. And then I say I have a little more information below. So that's the first section, and the reason it worked is because I created this header using the heading one in Word. Then I went to the next page, did a page break. And the next one is a new heading, SRI for Student Radio and Instructor, Fall 2020, and then for this one particular class, Behavioral Science 3010, which is Statistics for the Behavioral Sciences, Section X01. And the reason I'm including this is because the university requires that we give the entire printout, which for a large class is several pages long. This isn't the whole thing. But the thing is, I'm able to drag it in to Word. This is something you can do in Word that you can't do in Google Docs. You can drag in a PDF. Now you have to drag it in one page at a time. And so I double clicked and opened up the PDF on my Mac in preview and I just pulled over one page at a time here. So this is the first page. You can see the bounds of the PDF and it comes down Then I do a page break. I go to the second page, bring it in there. I go to the third page. There are about six pages total for this particular PDF, but it gets all the feedback from the students. And so I'm able to include several different pages. Then I do a page break and I have a third heading. And one of the things that we require at our university is that you document your service with letters that verify that you did it. And so I type service letter and I'm going to have a few and then gel for the grants for engaged learning. And again, the important thing is that I set that as heading one. I give a little bit of explanatory text and then I bring in the letter. Now, one of the nice things about doing PDFs in here is you can resize them. I had to drag the corners of this one and make it just a little bit smaller. You see, you can drag the corners, I had to make it just a little bit smaller. So it stayed on the same page as the rest of the text. And so that's an example of a document. Obviously you can have more than that, but here you see, I have an individual image. I have a PDF that's many pages, but I have to drag in one page at a time. And then I've got a different kind of letter. And obviously you can put anything in, you can put in tables, you can put in other word documents by copying and pasting and so on. But the magic of this, is when you come up and you insert the table of contents. So I'm going to come right here. I'll come down just a little bit and then come up to insert and then index and tables. And then I'll go to table of contents. Then I have several choices. I actually like the one that says formal. So I'm going to click that. And it'll show the page numbers, it'll write a line. And this is my table of contents. Now, the important thing about this, these are clickable. If you click on this, it will go to that page. And that is something that will be preserved when I export it. So I'm going to save the document right now. And then I'm going to come up here to file and then save as. And when I do that, 
one of the options that it's going to give me, I will save it to downloads here, is to switch the file format from Word docx. And by the way, you're going to want to do it this way as opposed to on a Mac, you can print to save it as a PDF. And I don't think it will do the same thing here. But I export it as a PDF. I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. I'll press export. And now I can open up the PDF on my computer. I'm on a Mac, so it opens it up in preview. And you can see it looks the same. But the important thing here is these are live links. So if I click on this one, it takes us to the first page with the instructor evaluations. If I go back, I click on this one, it takes us to the page that has the reportings for the first class. And if I click on the third one, it's going to take us to page six, where I have the service letter. So you can do this as many things as you want, it, it will create a single document that can have images, PDFs and whatnot that you can then export as a single PDF, but maintain a table of contents so people can look it up manually with the pages and with a clickable index that when people download it, they can use to navigate the document more easily. Hopefully, this will help you get better organization in your own documents and make it both easier for you to prepare and for other people to read.